Welcome back everyone. Uh, I'm going to show you a little shad fly that, that uh, I use in the surf. I had a bit of a chat with someone in Johannesburg the other day and for some reason he started talking about shad flies and I thought I'd share this with you. Um, it's a it's a, a fly that I tie on a on a long shank hook, the grip 12612 long shank, and uh, the whole entire fly is tied at the back of the hook so that you have the front of the of the shank uh, use it as a as a bit of a protection uh, because shad obviously have, have teeth and they and they tend to bite through nylon so that's why I tie I like to tie this fly a little bit back you can tie the same fly on a on a hook like the grip 21711 NSL which is a shorter shank hook and you can just tie it forward behind the eye of the hook and it will work perfectly as well but then obviously you don't have that shank that that's going to protect the fly or, or the tippet against the the shad's teeth so i'm using a grip 30 uh the chartreuse thread and you start by wrapping making a few wraps just above the 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 um the point of the of the hook towards the bend and the fly is tied with grip bait fish fiber which is a very fine synthetic and works very well in, in salt water. It doesn't knot like some of the other materials and it's a very easy material to work with and we use very thin sparse bunches of, of material to tie this fly. So I've already worked out my lengths of fiber that I use for this fly and when I tie it on a size 2 the first bunch that goes in, I cut at a 120 mm length and then taper the ends a little bit by just pulling some of the fibers out a little bit and that will taper both ends. I then tie that in with a, a longer piece pointing forward. So there's about, I would say, at least two thirds, maybe a little bit less pointing forward and a short piece pointing back and you tie that on top of the hook with a few wraps backwards there just like that and then we're going to add some flash and that is uh, what I'm adding here is a, a, a grip dyed flashaboo um, in, in a, I think this is a, a fluorescent yellow uh, that color over there and tie that also again I take I take five strands and I tie that on top of the of the hook of that material with the ends pointing a little bit past the the tips of the fiber at the back and you tie that on top of the of that uh, fiber there and you take your thread back to where you start to, to the back end of that uh, uh, you started tying it in and then you're going to fold this material over from the front to the back and you secure that with a few wraps right there now I don't like to use too much flash in this. That's why well, I kind of count the, the number of strands that I use in this um, in this fly. And you will have a little bit of a flash tail in this, which is what you want. And you can see it's very sparse. There's not much material in there. Flip the fly around and we're going to do exactly the same at the bottom, except we're not going to add flash at the bottom. Uh, I mean, you can if you want to. I don't. Um, it just I, I don't I'm not crazy about too much flash in, in my flies um, but because it's a shad fly and uh, they feed at quite a quite a fast pace you can you if, if, if you feel like it you can add a little bit of flash in there in the same way as what we did on the first bunch now the second bunch I cut a little bit shorter I cut that 110 mole and then taper it 
do exactly the same and you tie that in with the end pointing backwards the same length as the uh, 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 as the tail as the first part that point backwards in the first bundle um, or the bottom part of the of the tail same length and I use the hook point to split that fiber because you want equal amounts on each side and you tie that in right there in front of the other bundle you tie that in front not below the other bundle once you've secured that with a few wraps take a bot gun and just split that to the sides so you don't so it won't get stuck in the in the bend of the of the hook when that is done and, and again tie tie the material on the inside of the hook don't let it slide to the bottom or to the other sides just you you want that material in one place once that's done you can just secure that with one or two more wraps and then take your thread back and fold this front section the, the material pointing forward back and tie that down right there and you can then split that with a botkin as well and secure that properly with a few wraps next to each other and again you can see I keep the I keep the whole flight clean. I don't make unnecessary wraps. There's no material in places where it's not supposed to be. Um, if you if you tie it too bulky, then then the next bundle every time the next bundle is not going to be in the right place. So the next bundle that we are going to tie in is going to be on top of the previous one, and that's going to be chartreuse. So you can tie this fly in many different colors. You can tie it in. I tie it in four different colors. I tie it in. in uh, white chartreuse, white blue, white pink and uh, white grey and with different shades as you go to the top you go a little bit darker so in this one we're going to do again a bu bunch of around 11 centimeters or, or uh, um, uh, 110 mil pull those ends so that they so that the bunch is tapered and you tie that on top and you're going to tie that a little bit shorter you're going to tie that about the same length as the as the the, the, the bunch at the bottom you don't want it to be the same length as the as the tail as the first bunch you tied on the top so you're going to tie that a little bit shorter on top, secure that with one or two wraps, make sure it's on top and then we're going to tie in a few more strands of flash. Now in the first bunch that I tie in, I tie in five strands of flash. You can, you can go and make your own notes for this fly but I tie five strands in and in this bunch then I don't tie any at the bottom and in this bunch I tie three in and you put that on top again secure that right there and if you tie this fly right, you'll see that there's no trimming afterwards. And fold that double. And secure that right there. You can already see the profile of the fly. And when it's wet and you retrieve it, it will have a nice thin, thin profile. Now the last step would be to tie the darker color on top. And that is, I just want to go tie a little bit back here, 
for that when I tie it in chartreuse I tie a lime green on top and, and I use even less fibers than what I use for the for the other bunches because you just want a little bit of a darker top to to be a little bit more accurate with your with the shades in that in that little bait fish and I tie that also I make that 11 centimeters or 110 more taper that a little bit and that you can tie pretty much the same length as what you did with the chartreuse right there and I don't put flash in this either just tie that in there. Just those wraps slipped off now. There we go. And fold that back and tie that in. Secure that properly. And then you can tie the thread off. Now the profile will, 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 will get a better profile once we start with the resin. So the resin that I use for this, uh, I use uh, grip resin and obviously those resins are, are, those who have used it will know that they are available in three different densities and or viscosities rather. And the, the one that I prefer to use to build the head is the medium. It gives you enough time to work with without running too quickly and uh, you can work that in between the fibers nicely where the thick tends to be a little bit more difficult to work in between the fibers and the thin is just too runny. Um, so I'll grab a botkin here and I work that in with a botkin so I squeeze a little bit out on a little pad and I work that in between the fibers before I, before I put eyes on. And you want most of this fly to be on top of the hook, although you, although you did tie, we did tie one bunch at the bottom, but uh, uh, the rest is on top and the eyes must be, the bottom side of the eye must be on the hook shank. If you go lower with that, you will close the gape of the hook and that will have an effect on your hook-up ratio. So you just work that in there. And then you cure that, pull on those fibers, pull them backwards a little bit, hold them in position, cure that, but you're not going to cure it completely. Just going to it must still be a little bit tacky. And then we're going to grab two eyes. So the eyes that I use are uh, grip 3D eyes. These are silver 6 mil for this size fly. Uh, there are so many different eyes available and you can use your own color combinations, whatever you want to use. Um, I use the pull and then you put the eyes on the sides and squeeze them a little bit and then cure that, that glue. Now this is not going to to, 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 to keep the eye, it's, it's, it's not really going to glue the eyes to the, to the fly, but it's going to get the profile right. If you squeeze it a little bit and then cure that, that resin, you're going to get your profile right. And then we're going to take a little bit more resin to build the head. And we're going to put resin around the Head there in the front. There's one fiber now that's not playing along. We'll try and remove that. There we go. Let's 
between the eyes at the bottom and keep the material to a minimum at the bottom. You don't want to close that to a cape. The cape is already quite small. Um, around the front and cure that. And then the last step is I take is a, it's just a coat with a thin resin. So I take the thin resin that comes with a brush, work some some resin in behind the eye uh, to to just help hold that eye in position, make it a little bit more durable. Thin coat at the bottom. Keep rotating the vise. Round the eye on the other side. And keep rotating that. And cure that. And that is the fly. That is, that is, it's a very simple fly to tie. A very easy fly. Very durable fly. And a very easy fly to cast as well. Uh, entirely tied with synthetics. You can see the profile looks nice the um, you've got the the long hook shank that that will protect the tippet and this fly can even if, it, if it's a windless day it's very easy to cast it on, on even a, 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 a seven weight weight rod but generally I fish a nine weight and then I fish the surf um, and, and and that's pretty much it so the colors that I tie uh, are white with chartreuse and a bit of green or pink with light pink and darker pink uh, or hot pink. Um, I tie it in white with a light blue and a dark blue or one of my favorites is the white with the light gray and then a darker gray and in that one I use a silver holographic flash. So those are the colors that I that I find best and that I prefer to tie. So go and tie them, comment on the video, please like the video, please subscribe to the channel and I'll be back with more of these soon. Thanks for watching.